Hi, my name is Cajun Syret. Today we are comparing tools for tracking of a budget, income and expenditures such as the envelope system, paper tracking, and online or software options. A cash flow plan budget is the single most powerful personal finance tool anyone can use for wise money management. However, this is not a one-size-fits-all proposition. There are different planning and tracking systems, each with its own advantages. The Envelope Budget System This system is best for people who prefer to use cash whenever possible, but also pay some bills online. It's also a great system for those who do not have much money in reserve. Each time you get paid, fill envelopes with the amount of cash you have budgeted for specific spending categories until the next time you're paid. For example, if you get paid once a month and have a $400 monthly grocery budget, each time you get paid, put $400 in cash into an envelope marked groceries. When you go grocery shopping, take that envelope with you, pay for your groceries with the money in the envelope, and put the change back into the envelope. Of course you won't want to use an envelope for every spending category, like your mortgage, but envelopes work really well for categories like food, clothing, dry cleaning, gifts, entertainment, home maintenance, gasoline, vehicle maintenance, and miscellaneous. When you're out of money in a certain envelope, you're done spending in that category until your next payday. If there's any money left over at the end of a period, keep the money in the envelope so you have more to spend over the next period. This is especially important for categories like vehicle and home maintenance. Some months you'll spend little or nothing in these areas, but other months you'll have to spend a lot, so you'll be glad the money has been accumulating. The paper and pencil budget system. This is best for people who use a combination of cash, debit, and or credit cards, pay some bills online, and have some money in reserve. Track your spending by keeping receipts or by writing down how much you spend during the day and then enter the information on the tracker at the end of each day. At the end of the month, total up each category and then indicate how much over or under your actual spending was compared to the goal. Since you will use one form for each month, look at the previous month's cash flow tracker to see how much over or under you were up to that point in the year and enter that on this month's form. Then total up how much over or under you are for the year. The electronic budget system. There are many kinds of electronic budget systems including Excel spreadsheets, budget software, and mobile apps. An Excel spreadsheet budget is best for people who like the layout of the paper and pencil system but prefer to use an electronic tool. Budget software is best for people who are comfortable downloading financial transactions from their bank and credit card companies and like detailed reports about their finances. Software programs can download your checking, savings, and credit card transactions through an online connection with your bank and credit card companies. One downside to budget software is that it's tied to one computer. Another is the cost. To overcome these issues, you might consider the third category of electronic tools. Online budget tools. These are best for people who are comfortable doing online banking, prefer to have their budget available online, and don't need a ton of detail. Once you are set up to allow the services to access your records, it will download your latest transactions automatically. It can also be set up to automatically categorize certain transactions for you, which can save some time. For example, if you do most of your grocery shopping at Safeway, you can instruct the system to categorize all Safeway transactions as groceries. You can also go in and manually make adjustments such as when you get cash back or pick up a prescription. <music>